What's going on Facebook, A to the J, Alex Jeffries in the building. So we're gonna go live. This is actually the first time we are live here. We've got a makeshift studio. The studio is coming together, so we have like, uh, you know, we just got the lights in for you. Uh, Elijah went and bought these yesterday. We got this new fancy TV. Well, I'm gonna be able to train on. And then moving forward, uh, moving forward, we're gonna be uh, pretty much setting up, we're gonna have like the, the camera, pass me that camera over, please, dude. So we've got this nice fancy camera that's going to be set up on a on a tripod that we've got parked over by there, and then we'll have the microphone. So I'll be mic'd up for you. So I'll have the mic. So and then maybe we'll even get some other cameras in here. I don't know how we're going to be able to do it. We'll be able to do some like uh, some buttons, so we'll be able to move to different cameras. So Elijah was looking. And we didn't order them yet because we want to make sure we get the right equipment for you. But we're going to have different cameras in here and uh, pretty much, you know, make sure that the lighting's good on the screen. Like you could be closer with me. I can do training. They can zoom in on me. Uh, so you can just basically see me first. And then if we need to zoom to the, com to the TV, we'll be locked into the TV as well. So it's pretty exciting. Let me, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my phone up a sec. So I can see any questions here. So you can start firing your questions in the chat box. But what I'd like to say is welcome to the first live Q&A with AJ. I'm really excited. You know, CIA Gold, this is a special moment for us to go live. I'm going to be going live with you every single week here to answer your questions. Let me see if, if, I'm, uh, if I can find myself on my phone. I've got you here. You've got me out? Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah, people comment you. Cool. OK, let me uh, get in CIA Gold. OK. Uh, can I, yeah, cool. I can see myself. How cool is that? I can go live with you. A little delay. Huh? Okay, there's a little delay, but it's still. Yeah, as long as I turn my, so I turn my thing off. So look at that. There he is, the man himself. All righty. So I can see. So what's up, Angela? Angela says, "Hey, what up, AJ?" So Angela, first and foremost, congratulations on joining us. You know. This was nothing but a thought until people were messaging us saying, like, AJ, can you do anything for us? Like, we want to basically, you know, work under your wing, but I know you're expensive. I know you get people great results. But is there anything you give to us to get us in the front door first, to, like, get, like, our foot on the pedestal to then work with you more closely? And I was getting this a lot, and I was like, this is interesting. And I spoke with my team. I said, look how many people, just look how many people are actually saying to us, AJ, we want you to help us. Can you help us? before we upgrade. And I was like, this would be a great place to share with people like CIA, get you in the front door, see what we do, and then obviously then you can ascend to Elite if you please to work with us closely. And you know, Angela, like I saw you in the group commenting, I was like, look at that woman there, she's engaged already. And, and that's for everybody, by the way, everybody who's here like, what's up, eh? you know, AJ in the building. And just being engaged is the main thing, like being a part of this now, you know, this is a brand new studio that we're building for you. We're going to be like having all the new camera equipment, the new stands, the new like I don't know how cool this is going to get, but it's going to get cool. Um, what up, John? What's up, John, my brother? <sighs> Love you, my man. John is just such a great. By the way, John Hamilton, ladies and gents, if you don't know John, who's posted in there, uh, John is just like the guy behind the scenes. He is. He's put all of the the material together. Like you know, he's tied everything together. Really helped me create this training for you. All right. Uh, Eddie, what's up, my man? Eddie says, yeah. Give me a shout out, by the way, everybody in the chat box. If you're here live with me, throw up, throw up something so I can, I can give you a quick shout out. Uh, Leah says, great to be here. Leah, you know, what I noticed about you, my love, Leah, is as soon as you know, we went live, you were engaged in everything we did. Right? And that was just cool. I saw you like liking everything, posting everywhere. I saw you all over my own Facebook stuff. Now, again, this was nothing but an idea. You all have to remember, this was nothing but an idea, OK? Nothing but an idea, and what I was able to do was say to my team, look at these people who would love something like this. Shall we share this with them? And we went to work, and what we did was we gave ourselves a deadline. And I want you to write that down. You need a deadline, because if you don't have a firm deadline, nothing's going to happen. Nothing. If I didn't have a deadline, that this wouldn't have been built. We would still be thinking about this. We'd be still writing the sales letter. We'd still be putting things together. But we had a deadline. I went to Starbucks on Wednesday afternoon. I wrote the sales page that you saw, that you read and not obviously bought through, which I appreciate. You, I wrote that on Wednesday. Thursday was Thanksgiving. 
I took Thanksgiving off with my family. Then Thursday evening, I went to work with Ryan designing the page. And Friday morning, we went live. And obviously, behind the scenes, like the team were building the members portal that you have access to. I mean, it took us a few days to get that out into the world. Nothing but an idea. If we, if we didn't have the deadline, we wouldn't have done it. So, um, so Leah, just I just want to shout out to you. Congratulations on being so engaged. You know. Um, now, if anybody has any questions, fire questions in the chat box, and I'll start firing off some uh, to, some answers now in a minute. Uh, Tracy, what's up, Tracy? By the way, Tracy, I just appreciate the love. You know, Tracy, this is why I love our communities where people get involved. Tracy was looking at our sales page. I can't spell, right? I'm dyslexic, school dropout. I have no school education whatsoever. I can't spell. I, you know, my grammar is terrible. And Tracy went through our sales page, love. I started showing us all the little errors in the page. It was just beautiful. Thank you, Tracy. Like, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Like, just people showing love. And, uh, you know, and some people will be like, respond to my emails. Alex, take me off your mailing list. Your English is terrible. I'm like, I'm not here to teach you English. I'm here to teach you business. Like, business is my life. English? No, I, I, I failed in school. Kurt Francis, man, for everybody, there's a guy in this chat box called Kurt Francis. You'll see him. I love him. Kurt, I love you, my brother. This man I love. This is one of my clients from day one of CIA. He's in now in the Alex Jeffries Inner Circle, becoming a private client with me. We're looking at building a huge business together on the side. Apart from what I'm doing, this guy is speaking in front of the biggest stages in the real estate niches. Just though people love him. For a reason, he's Kurt Francis. I want you to all look out to that guy. He says, how is it in the chat box? Guy is just a diamond. You know, he, he helped me as I started growing. Um, because check this. So I have a friend called Dean Graziosi. I don't know if you know who Dean is or not. But Dean Graziosi uh, has a billion dollar brand uh, in the real estate niche. And Dean's a friend of mine. And Dean said to me, Alex, you know, you're a badass. Right? We're at dinner one night. Uh, he just had dinner with Tony Robbins, Joe Polish. They had this big dinner. And then afterwards, I was hanging out with Dean. And Dean said to me, Alex, you're a badass. You know? but what I want you to do is you go into this next year, which was 2018. I want you to serve not with your mind, but I want you to serve with your heart. Serve with your heart, not your head. That's what he said to me. I want you to serve with your heart, not your head. And if you serve with your heart, it's going to get much better for you. Because I was a bit confused what I wanted to do. You know, like I wanted to remove my ego. There was things I wanted to do, and he said, just serve your heart. And I didn't understand that. But I thought about it every single day. And then as I built Clients in Abundance back in February 2018, that's what I did. And how I served my heart was I was vulnerable. I shared. I was just open and honest about what was going on for me. And as I started to do that, and I was real, Kurt just kept going on about it and like he was cheerleading me and bringing me out of my shell into the community and I just believe that God changed my life. I do. I just love him to bits. Yeah, so he's, Kurt says, John is the bomb. Uh, so uh, Eddie says, CIA is my plan to a million in 2019. Absolutely, brother. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's doable. And how you do it is you serve people. You get out of your own way and serve people and you keep it simple. <laughs> Seriously, people make it too complex. Keep it really, really, really simple. <clears throat> Chelsea, what's up, my lovely? So here's Chelsea, another client of mine. Chelsea's actually coming out to uh, San Diego uh, in January. I have a, a, a retreat at a mansion here in San Diego. We're going to be doing not just like business stuff, like planning the year, which we are going to be doing, planning the year, and really looking at the high-ticket ecosystem for each of my clients. But we're also doing a, like a retreat where we're going to have meditation, and we're going to be doing yoga each day, and we're going to have like fun, uh, fear, uh, experiences like getting us to grow. Okay, this is what people asked of me. So I got this mansion here in San Diego, and Chelsea's one of the people come in. And when Chelsea phoned me and said, Look, I want to join this mastermind, and it, it's only like 5,000 bucks, it's nothing for like three days, cheap as chips. And she said to me, You know what? And she's explaining to me about like how she's invested in that, and how she's going to invest in my inner circle, and how she's going to keep investing. I had goosebumps up my arms because it just showed the intent of her success that she's investing in herself and she's going to continue investing in herself. And she's, you know, at the beginning stages, she's not like she's killing it, crushing it, but just the fact that she knows that she's going to keep investing in herself, just give me chills all over. And I just, I, I'm going to root for you, Chelsea, all the way, my lovely, you know, like I am in your corner. Um, this is great, by the way. I love this. Uh, so anyway, questions, like any questions? <clears throat> um, <laughs> uh, Perfect. <clears throat> hmm. 
yeah, and Dean, you know, and that's the thing. Tracy says, I love Dean so much, such a generous guy. You know, I could learn so much from him. You know, I sat next to him about, <clears throat> I don't know, three, about three, three weeks ago. It was about three weeks ago. I sat next to him for two days and we were at Genius Network. It's a $25,000 mastermind and it's $10,000 to go to a two-day seminar. So 10,000 bucks for the weekend. And as they put me on the table, there's like 400 people in the room. It's my dear friend, Joe Polish's event. As we're in the room, Dean's sitting next to me. I got to spend two days with him. And, uh, you know, the, 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 the wisdom that he drops, you know, like, and it's like, do you know what he said to me? This is what he said to me. He said, you'll all laugh at this, but he said to me, you want to publish with messy hair. Dean, I have no hair. But he's like, you know what? In this day and age, people don't want the prim and proper. People want the real stuff. <clears throat> so like right now, this is real. Like this is all I have, a smiley face on the TV. Like soon we'll have this Zoom in stuff and it'll all be professional here and it'll be great. But for now, I'm just publishing with messy hair. <clears throat> yeah, Chelsea said, who needs to spell correctly when you have Grammarly? And that's a good point. You know, I have two children. I have a seven-year-old and an 11-year-old. Do you know in school, my seven-year-old has Grammarly to do a spelling? Like, they don't even make my child now learn how to spell, which is crazy. They, the kids use Grammarly in school. It's crazy. I was like, really? <clears throat> um, so, good point. Mark says, when are your live events in San Diego this year? Throw some love signs if you want to come to San Diego to one of our events. Throw some love up on the, on the box. Hit that, hit that sign. Um, I want to see you here in San Diego. So, first of all, we have... Uh, a schedule of events coming up and we will share them with you the look at this man i'm so excited for this look at the love signs there like i look forward to seeing you and what i want is a big hug when i see you guys and girls when you come to san diego i want a big hug all right that's it's just going to be do the first time we had the event we had a small room of 50 people and the lady with us had to go and get 50 boxes of tissues. That was day two. Everybody was just crying their eyes up. The breakthroughs, the transformations, it was life-changing. You've seen the videos of it, right? We've been publishing the videos online. You've seen some of them on the page. I mean, you would have seen them, I'm sure. If you haven't seen them, you know, take a look out for them. So when are we having the live events? Um, <clears throat> The first, I will, I will give you a schedule of events, but early 2019 is the first event, and then we're going to have more events through the year. Now, I also have events here. I have uh, a retreat that we've got a few places left, like a, a mastermind retreat in January, but it's, it's definitely for like my higher level uh, clients. Um, we have masterminds here in the office through the year as well, where we have 10 people come in. You can't really see it right now, but we've got a boardroom table here. And uh, we have people fly in. And we have 10 people at a time mastermind for a few days. But the, the events, um, what's up, my brother? What's up? What's up? Look at this. I'm just saying, like, what's, what's great is, like, how we can just have, like, this makeshift office, this makeshift setup. <clears throat> and it's day one, right? It's freaking cool. I like this. Um, so I would say, I'm not going to give you a date yet, but, like, let's just say early 2019, and as soon as I can get some dates, Mark, uh, I will give you some dates, okay? But we've already got the schedule events. They're looking at hotels, and they're looking at, like, what's best accommodating for all of you. I oh, love it, man. Mark, by the way, I love you, bro. You know, here's Mark Reed. Just Mark, like, Mark, the community love Mark as well, you know, because Mark's been in another community of mine. And his, just, like, his shares, his vulnerability. I'm going to sneeze. Can I get, um... This, I don't know if that's yours or that. Yeah, ask you please. Thank you. Um, Elijah's, uh, Elijah, who's in the office with me, I have Elijah and Ryan here with me. Elijah's fallen ill, and I hope he doesn't give it to me, Elijah. Um, yeah, so just, Mark, you know, I just appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you being here. You know, I, I, I'm rooting for you. I, you know, from the very first time I spoke with you, I saw the, the desire, the hunger for success. So, man, you're on it. Uh, John, yeah, John says, if you have any specific questions for Alex, please feel free to uh, get the discussion going on what your biggest challenges in business are right now. So, good, good stuff, John. So, Eddie says, CIA is main focus for high-tech offers, right? Yes, good question. You see, I mean, let me show you something here. Let 
There's two ways to get paid. Right? You get paid a little, or you get paid a lot. Right? That's it. Now, what I want to ask you is, is that, can you see this the right way around? So to answer Eddie's uh, question, <clears throat> you can either get paid a little or you can get paid a lot. There's a market out there who will give you a little, and there's a market out there who will give you a lot. Like, that's it. Like, everybody's like, well, how do I price my program? Should I charge it? And they try and, like, there's nothing, there's no difference, really, between, like, the little and there's no difference between the lot, apart from the client that you're going to attract. See, when somebody invests in my programs, and I, I have expensive programs, and I'm expensive for a reason, I get people results. But I know when I charge a lot, the people who come through the door, they're committed. They're ready to level up. They've made a stance, they've made a, like, a point that they want the next level. And when they invest a lot, what are they gonna do? They invest a lot of money, they're gonna invest a lot of time, they're gonna invest a lot of energy, they're gonna invest a lot of focus, they're going to make actionable moves because they've invested. And just for some reason, I've noticed that. When I had low ticket clients, they were a pain in the ass. They want more and they pay little. When I have high ticket clients, they just, they're just golden. They're just beautiful. Right? They just, they're just great. So you either get paid a little or you get paid a lot. But I'd rather get paid a lot. There's two options there. Um, so Eddie says, what, what is the biggest difference of our program and the others in the market? So what does that mean, Eddie? Like, you know, our program. Do you mean my program or, you know, because um, if, you th if you're on about my program, like when you say our, and you can respond below and I'll, I'll get to it. But what's the difference between my program and others in the market it is myself. It's my study that I've been through. I've been coaching for you know a number of years. And this look, there's so many people out there teaching how to sell high ticket stuff, right? It's simple, right? People teach it, but when it comes down to the nitty gritty, me personally, I've studied under like all of the gurus. You know what I'm saying? Like when we're talking about all of the biggest gurus in the world, who are who? I've studied all the ones who are dead, their books, but all the ones who are alive, you know, they know who I am. I've made a a point of going to the seminars, to meeting them, to upgrade into their programs like this, to upgrade into their personal coaching, to working under their wing. Like I've been at this, this is my thing for a number of years. And I've you know, made millions and millions of dollars from doing it, so I know what I'm doing. Like I'm in the trenches, I'm putting my own credit card into Facebook every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm cutting my teeth, I've been coaching for 10 years. So like that's what it comes to. It's not really the training, it's my expertise. When people work with me, I'm able to look at their, their marketing material and I'm able to say, you need to change this. In fact, you know, for, for my elite clients, what I have is I basically have a copywriter who I pay five figures a month, which is you know ten thousand dollars plus. I have him review all of their coursework. So as you go through the members area, you know, right now you've obviously you're going through all of the coursework, but in my elite program, I, I pay somebody to actually look at all of that with them and work with them. Not just somebody, not just some little coach on the side, no, somebody who is a highly trained copywriter who's been with me for a number of years. Do that, that's one thing. The other thing is I basically have my tech team who build, you know, I've got people here, I have my tech team who build my funnels and all my automation, all my technology, basically do that for my clients as well. So like, you know, I'm saying like I'm just doing more for the customer or the client because I want them to have to do less. See, I want you focus on what you do best, which is coach, right? Um, but you know, what's the difference, if you wanna say, what's the difference between your offer in the market and others, what I would say is this, Eddie, care. Absolutely care about your clients, you see? People buy when they feel understood, not when they understand you. So you don't need all the testimonials, you don't need all of the, you know, the, the fancy stuff. You know, a client said to me last night, she said, AJ, this is Shelby. You know, Shelby said, AJ, um, with your video, I love it. You know, you get out of, you have this great videographer. You have, you know, you get out of a helicopter. I don't have a helicopter. What can we do, the little guy or girl? And I'm like, Shelby, let me tell you, my lovely. I didn't have all that when I was starting out. I didn't have all the testimonials when I started out. What I did have, though, was the desire to change people's lives. I actually care. 
And when people feel understood and they feel cared, and when somebody gives you money, you do everything in your power to change their life, that's what makes you different, you know? That's what makes us different. Like, <clears throat> I used to, I used to, because the ego got the better of me in it and I'm not allowing it to get the better of me anymore, I used to beat my chest. Like, I've got more success stories than anybody else in the internet marketing space. Tell me one guru who's creating more success stories than me. Tell me, anybody. Like, that would be my attitude before. When I now believe it, I'm a little bit more humble with it. I'm kind of like, well, the market doesn't really care about that. They care about themselves. So I don't really care about like my inflated ego of like who I am and who I've worked with and how many lives have changed. I just, just, I just every single day, I focus on today and I serve at my highest. So uh, that's what the, the biggest difference is, you know what I'm saying? Um, just care for people, truly care for them. I love you too, Kurt. Yeah, man, Mark, you know, it's, it's, I just love it, brother. Um, so Eddie says, you can have uh, some events in the UK or Portugal. Uh, San Diego, baby. <laughs> San Diego. Uh, this, this is paradise. Uh, you know, I go back to the UK as little as possible. Uh, this, this here is just, to me, is paradise, and I want you to experience good living. You know what I'm saying? When you come here, I want you to experience how amazing it is. Like the lifestyle, that's why, that's why we have this, this uh, mansion retreat in, in January, because like my clients were here in the office with me, and they're like, you know, this is amazing. They love this, right? Coming to my office, a mastermind with me for several days, and we've got people who are doing you know, tens of thousands of dollars a week, and incredible results. But like, AJ, can we take this to another level? Can we do this like in not just in your office, but can we do this with butlers and, and they started you know, rattling off all these things? I'm like, sure, you know? And it'll become it'll be a fifteen thousand dollar three day event. But for the first group, I said, You want this will be five thousand bucks. So I'm saying, and that's to show them the lifestyle. That's to show them like how good living can be. And it isn't all about the lifestyle, but I definitely recommend looking after yourself. So it isn't just about like, you know, fast cars, you know, mansions, all that. It's about like mind, body, and soul. That's what the event's going to be, just in a beautiful, you know, surrounding. So, uh, my events are in San Diego, um, and the events for you, CIA, will be downtown San Diego, at a beautiful location, beautiful hotel. Uh, we've got we're, we're, we're narrowed it down to two uh, hotels. Yes, Karen says we want highly invested clients. Absolutely, you know, like if you don't have invested clients, they do nothing. You give your coach away for free, and guess what's going to happen? This. Nothing. They don't do anything. <clears throat> and people say to me, well, Alex, I want to change everybody's lives. I don't want to just charge people high prices because, you know, because I can charge high prices. I want to serve everybody. So I want to, I'm like, well, fine, go and serve everybody. But watch what happens. You're, gonna, you're just going to have a load of people who moan, complain, whine about not getting results, and start pointing fingers and blaming you. That's what human beings do. When you start charging low prices, you attract the lower quality people. And for some reason, I can't, like, I can't just explain, and I, this isn't for everybody, but like you just look at it, I've, I've got, what have I got, like 14 years of this, right? And I've worked with over a thousand plus people, right? Like way over a thousand people in their businesses and help them build out their businesses. And I see it over and over again, how the human being acts. Right? The human being is a funny creature. Right? So basically, the more somebody invests, the more invested they are. And the better they, they act. The more somebody gives you money, the better they're going to act. They're going to show up. They're going to be polite. They're going to be courteous. They're going to engage in the community more. <clears throat> yeah, and that's what Tracy says. There'll always be people who cannot afford it. And there's always going to be people who can afford it. So all you have to do is make a decision. Do I want to charge a little or do I want to charge a lot? Let me know in the chat box what you want to do. Do you want to charge a little or do you want to charge a lot? <clears throat> yeah, and then John and then John said, you know, how how uh you know, how do you make your program, you know, in that, in that context, pretty much give outstanding support and watch what we do here. Just please like watch what we do here, right? You, anybody tell me that we don't give outstanding support. I will, this is what I will do though. I will learn from it. See, this is what I call client driven content. Great lesson for you. Client driven content. 
When people give me good feedback, I accept it. When people give me bad feedback, I really accept it. What is this bad feedback? What are they actually saying to me right now that I can do to one, fix it for that person, go over and above for that person, and two, how can we now batten down the hatches on the ship? How can we now make sure that this doesn't happen again for anybody else? And negative or bad feedback coming in, I love because first of all, I thank the person for giving it to me, I go over and above to serve them, and then I look at never making this mistake ever again in my business. Simple as that. So, you know, you can actually give outstanding support, and if you do make mistakes, we're only human, fix those mistakes for yourselves, look after your people, and then never make the mistake again. And then second, like John said, tangible results. Give people tangible results. Like, focus on the outcome. People buy the outcome. People are not buying the process, they're buying the outcome. So really focus on getting them the results. Now, I can't guarantee you results. You show up, I show up, let's see what happens. You can only get the results for yourself. But I will help you on that. I will make sure that you have the best information. Like, that's it. I only know the best information. I only study from the best. So I have nothing else but the best information to give to you. But only you can get the results. And if you allow your people, here's another great lesson. You don't want to dumb down for your audience. You want to get them to rise to the occasion. You want to have your audience rise to the occasion. So if you want to get them tangible results, you want to put the onus on them. Show up, do the work, and let's get you the results. Chelsea says, <clears throat> and this is cool, and look, here's the thing. So Chelsea is in the chat box, one of my high-level clients. She's in CIA Elite. She says, Aaron, who is our copywriter here, Aaron is a machine, a word ninja. I wanted to join my own program when I read the email follow-up sequence he wrote for me. You see, okay, that's another good thing. Words matter, Right? I mentioned earlier that you know I'm, I'm dyslexic and I can't spell, but if you wrote, if you read my sales page, what you did to be here, right? You got here reading the sales page. I wrote that page. So that's salesmanship in print. Now I'm able to take an idea, a concept, a thought, I'm able to take a story, I'm able to take an outcome for people, write it, and then get them to take action on it, okay? This is what we call direct response advertising. We get people to a page and they take direct response. Aaron has been with me for years working with my clients for like, I don't know how many years, but like, I, I don't have massive coaching classes now. Like my classes are much, much smaller. People pay me, you know, a lot more. Like each year I put my prices up, but like, I still have big enough classes, but I'm talking, you know, my classes may be 50 people a class now versus like 300 people a class, right? But like of all of those people, even when I had the big massive classes, um, I would ship all of the people to Aaron. Like that's who I would send them to. And like now, as I have my classes, every single person that I pay, because before I would ship all my people to him and they would pay him, but now I pay him to do the work for my clients. So like Chelsea saying here, uh, she wanted to buy her own program from Aaron right in the sequence, absolutely. You know, guy is a wordsmith and that's, that's what we are, we're wordsmiths, right? So copywriting is a great lesson for you to learn, right? Uh, what's going on, Carl Avery? What's up, my brother? I love you, man. Carl's changing my life as well, you know? I had a great deep conversation with Carl last night. The great conversation I had with Carl last night was this, be happy in life. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, there's so many things, like life can throw you off in so many different angles, so many different directions. You know, I live here in beautiful San Diego, and I'm so blessed to be here. Like, I'm so thankful I'm a UK man living in California. And you can get, you know, sometimes you can, like, you know, I got some like trouble with my son, you know, with school, and there's all of these things that can happen, right? The main thing is to remember just to be, just to give gratitude. And it, it was very difficult for me growing up to, to give gratitude. I was always focused, I was driven, always chasing. And I was having a conversation with Carl last night about not chasing. I don't want to chase anymore. Like that's sort of part of my life is really just living in the moment and living in the present. And it's new to me but being happy with all of the small little things. And it's just a beautiful way of living. And me and Carl were having a, a deep conversation about that last night, you know, it's like, life is short, so enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Like, life is really short, we get, we get so lost and confused on that. We, like, I think I'm immortal, I get like, 
And then whenever I like fall ill or something, and if I have this flu now, I'm gonna kick your butt, bro. But like I think about life even deeper. I'm like, holy shit, man, life is gonna end. And that scares the fuck out of me, man. That really scares me. I don't like that thought. But having that thought and living from that thought and coming back from that thought, to today I'm like, I'm gonna live a great day. I'm so blessed today. I have you in, I, have, I get to share my knowledge and wisdom with you. What a great, like just, just even like the small thing, it's just beautiful, you know, and get to change people's lives, you know, every single day, every single day. I've got to just keep that in mind, like get to change people's lives every single day. See, when, okay, there's another great lesson. When we think about ourselves, like it doesn't really work. When we think of serving people, it really works. So with your business, really think about the other people. And I know it's difficult because you want to make money and you want to get it, you know, you want all those fancy things for yourself, but that will come as a byproduct of serving a marketplace. And that, that there is like, I've lived with that for many, many years. Like my brand marketing with you.com or marketing with you, not to you. I, I changed the way marketing was going on in the internet marketing space by showing them behind the scenes. Like I was working under Rich Efron, who was the guru to the gurus. Like all of the internet marketing gurus that you've ever heard of were coached by Rich, who was coach with Jay Abraham, who was like, you know, the godfather of marketing. I worked directly under Rich for years. Like he's one of my best friends. When I, uh, when I uh, started my recovery, because I'm a, an alcoholic, when I went into my recovery, I went to his house for the first week to get clean. Like, like do you know what I'm saying? Like we're real deep friends. One of my best friends in the world. And he's like w one of the best, you know, there's one billionaire direct response advertiser in the world who owns Agora Publishing. And on my birthday of this year, I was in Rich's penthouse in New York. Rich gave me his penthouse for me and my family. And he was in France teaching Agora and all of the, 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 the guy who owns it and all of his company, all the, everybody, he was teaching them about their sales funnels. And then he flew over and spent the rest of my birthday with me. So like I've been at that level studying you know, for, for that long the just the, and the, the like all I all I can say is this man like the business is simple business is really simple people make it difficult right people make it difficult if you just focus on serving others I promise you, like the business can be so simple because people understand that you're giving. Like they, they can sense it. People sense. We have these these senses that that you may not notice, but like the human being knows. You know, they know, and I like that. You know, so people know when you're being genuine or not, right? You can like you can fake it sometimes. But you can't fake it all the time, right? Like sometimes you can fake it, but if you're faking it all the time, you're gonna get caught out. So why even try that? It's like this, I don't lie, the simple reason is I never have to remember what I said. Think about that, how cool is that? If you don't lie, you don't have to think. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, so I don't have to keep thinking about what I said. No, I just, if I said it, I said it. Okay, cool, so here's a question from Angela. Angela, one business challenge I face is the bribe of the negative review. I've even allowed myself to bribe someone who never bought anything from me when I didn't give her cash for an item that was out of stock for too long. She went and posted a bad review on BBB. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bribe them. If it's, a, if it's a negative review, that is now sabotage. This is now, um, uh, what's the word? It's, uh, it's not discrimination. It's um, uh, they... The word starts with D. I uh, defame. They're defaming you, right? Is it defaming? I think that's it. Um, maybe not. But basically, you know, first of all, contact the BBB and show proof that this is not true. If it is true, like I said earlier, if it is true, you go back. Like, I, have I had negative reviews? Yes. Have I made, made mistakes? Absolutely, I have. I'm a human being. I'm out there trying. I'm out there going, going, going. I'm giving it a go. I'm, you know, if you drop the ball, if it's true, Go and try and help that person. And I've had people, do you know why I've had people giving me negative re reviews? Because I've gone back and helped them. They've said, you know what? I've changed my mind. You're a great guy. In fact, check this. One of my best students right now wrote about me on the internet several years ago, got SEO'd on the internet, attacking me, right? Totally attacking me. I went at him. 
showed proof. I went out. We had a, we had a big debate online, right? He then agreed to take the stuff down. He liked my marketing. He joined my program, and he's now made six figures this year working underneath me. And he is a raving fan. In fact, when I did the Mansion Mastermind, and I was asking how much you think this would be, he's like, well, somewhere between ten and seventeen thousand. Here's my credit card. I hadn't even given him the price of the mastermind. He had his credit card out. Like, who do I give this to? And I'm like, well, I haven't even told you the price yet. And I told him the price would be five thousand dollars for the three days. He laughed. He's like, AJ, it's bad business to not give you money, right? So just you know, serve, and if you get negative reviews, try and go over and above to fix them and then never make the same mistake again. What's up, Paul? What's up, Wa? <clears throat> yeah, and if anybody has any questions for me, fire questions here. Um, I can stick around and, and answer any questions you have. So, Tony, what's up, Tony? Uh, what's up, Carly? I see all of you. But now I want to give a quick book recommendation. By the way, are you liking this? If you if you're liking what I'm sharing here, like what's going down, just show uh, show me some love so I can see it there. If everybody's engaged, uh, great book, uh, great book recommendation. By the way, the one thing, the one thing, right? By Gary Keller. This book here is fire. Keep you focused on the one thing. You know, you need one offer. That's all you need for the marketplace to go live. You need one offer. Put something out there into the marketplace. That offer doesn't even need to be created yet. Once you have the offer, you can start selling people on a future ideal and start working with them in person until you get there. Wow well, says, all good here. Great to feel the energy of you in the group. Absolutely, man. Me, me as well. You know, this is day one. Day one. Woof. Beautiful. So Alex uh, just joined. What's up, Alex? Good to see you here, brother, as well. For anybody who has any questions, fire the questions in here. Um, but basically, so so Carly says reading the four agreements right now. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm, I actually have that over the house. I haven't finished the book, but it's definitely one of the best books, the four agreements. And I need to really sit down and read it. Uh, I'm reading uh, quite a bit right now. I've got a, you know, got a lot of books around here. But that should be, you know, as I look into 2019, um, what book did I just get last night? I just got a Joe Dispenza's, uh, oh, look at this. I mean, just check this for two seconds. I want to just show you all this. Look at this. This is a client of mine. Uh, can I get that there? I don't know if you can see that, but he just done in November $260,000. And then yesterday, He done two hundred and forty-four thousand dollars. Just says thanks, coach. And now he's done two hundred and sixty thousand dollars this month. Feels even better. Probably going to hit three hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> three hundred k in a month. Do you know what I'm saying? Three hundred thousand dollars in a month. You know, when a client texts you down and says thanks, coach. I like that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the stuff that yeah. Why 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 have I got good energy? Because I know there's many people who here who are going to join the lead, who are going to upgrade, who are going to work closely with me. Look at the results. Do you know what I'm saying? And then, yeah. And then the last text. Look at the last text message. Is from Rich Efron. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like that's who just texted me just now. It's like when I when I say like the guru to the guru. It's like this guy is like. When I, when I have, I have a lot of smart people in my life, but that's a super genius. When I talk about like, I, I hang out with a lot of geniuses. In fact, <clears throat> this is a present that I've just created for Joe Polish, who's, uh, this is uh, Joe Polish of Genius Network. Where are we at? There's Genius Network. So Joe Polish owns a, a, a group, Genius Network, right? And everybody in the group are geniuses, you know what I'm saying? Even, where is he at? I think I'm in there. Yeah, there he is. Look at me by there. Woo! Two bold, two bold guys. <laughs> right? So Joe Polish, this is it. this I just create. Do you like this by the way? Can you do you know any people on there? I'm sure you can see. What names do you see on there actually? The lighting's a bit. I don't know. There's a bit of a glare, but uh so talking about geniuses. 
I'm in Genius Network. It's a $25,000 a year mastermind. You get to go there two times a year and, and hang out, right? So I hang out with geniuses. But when, when it comes to Rich Efron, like that guy is just a super genius, like Mensa. I, I, there's very few people in the world I've met that smart, and I'm blessed that he's taken me under his wing for like the past 10 years and, and just coached, coached me and just showed me exactly what's going on in this internet world, you know? I bring all this love to you. I'll bring all this stuff to you, you know? Um, and it's crazy, man. I started out, I just literally started out as just some young dude, broke, with a desire, and when I didn't have the, here's the thing, when I didn't have the money to invest, that's when I knew I needed to invest. So when I invested in his coaching program, I didn't have the money to invest in his coaching program, but I knew that was the reason I should invest in his coaching program because I didn't have the money. See, most people say, well, I'll make the money, then I'll invest. And I think that's what we would say, ask backwards in the UK, the cart before the horse. You invest, if you don't have the money, you gotta start thinking, well, wait a minute, something's not going right. Maybe I do need to invest. Right. Let me get back to this. Uh, let me get back to this live. So Mark says, Joe is one of my greatest teachers and a big influence on my life and coaching. I just got back from a week-long advanced retreat in Sunshine Coast, Australia, life-changing. And that, yeah, and Joe was just in Costa Rica for a week uh, at a retreat. And he's like, hey, bro, t literally, I wish, like, I built this for you. And I said to him, I can't go because I built this for you. But he's like, if you get on a plane right now and come to Costa Rica and come to a week-long retreat with me, yoga, just fly over here and you come for this retreat with me. I'm like... I had the bloody the sales letter to write and, and this I was like uh, I wish I could um, but you know Joe Joe is let's put it this way <clears throat> October 2016 I was in Genius Network class we had great legends like Robert Cialdini for an example of the book Influence okay he was in the room you, like there was uh, um, so many New York Times bestsellers in the room it was just filled with all these amazing people and there I was just shaking because I didn't know who I was. I was lost, confused. I was an alcoholic. I was drunk. And I didn't know how to get a hold of my life. And I stood up in that room and I said, hey, I'm an alcoholic. My name's Alex Jeffries. I'm an alcoholic. And I sat down. And this is a, this is a, a business room. And Joe gave me the strength to say that. You know, Joe was vulnerable in the room with other people about his own story. And he gave me strength to say that. So when I actually said that, he then helped me and has been working with me. So since 2016... To now, he's helped me with my recovery to alcohol. You know what I'm saying? He's helped me with my recovery to a lot of things. So I'm becoming a much better person because I was broken. You know, like I had, I had money, but I was spiritually broken and emotionally broken, and I didn't know that. And then Joe helped me work through those things. So guys just literally changed my life. And one of my best friends, you know, I text him every single day. Like I text him every day. I woke up this morning to a text from him. Love that man. Like, Actually, he's my hero. Do you understand? It's not even like, if I have one hero in the world, <clears throat> if I have one hero, it's that man, right? Just, just freaking love him the best. <clears throat> so I understand why you love him, Mark. Um, Elijah says, 2019 is about to be filled with results, lessons, breakthroughs, and incredible moments. Here, here. Chia, chia, for real. I like that. Um... Yes. Oh, so, all oh, right. So, uh, Mark says, uh, Joe Dispenza. Okay. Not Joe Polish. Okay. So Joe Dispenza. So yes. Yeah, so, um, last night I downloaded the book, Joe Dispenza's book, breaking the habit of being yourself. So Carl's reading it right now. And Carl said to me, AJ, this book is incredible. And, uh, I downloaded this straight away. You know, I downloaded every, if somebody gives me a book recommendation, I download those books and I have them. And the book that I'm reading right now is actually, um, in a voice by uh, Russ Whitney and Mike Fulsame, who's a mentor of mine from back in 2006, uh, knows my story of recovery and, and um, also knows uh, uh, Russ's story of recovery. And Mike messaged me. I was with Elijah the other day. It was just a beautiful phone call, right? Oh, yeah. Just beautiful, wasn't it? I had him on loudspeaker, and Mike started telling me about like this guy who has this company. He's worth hundreds of, billion, uh, hundreds of millions of dollars. 
you know, started like Rich Dad Poor Dad and had all of the speaking stuff. He's like, AJ, can I introduce you to Russ? I would like to introduce you both. And then I've been connected with Russ. And what he said to me is, please read my book, which is called Inner Voice. And then once you finish the book, let's get on the phone and speak. So that's the book that I'm reading right now, actually. And then when it comes to reading books, I like I do like reading some books, but I like audio. I like listening to books. I like audio books. That's how I retain information better. If I sit there and read, I'm really slow at reading. But you know, if I go to literature classes and stuff, I'm slow. But like if I listen to audio, I can put it on double speed and I can just be sitting there and just not, you know, not thinking and letting the information absorb into my body. <clears throat> So Alex says, I remember, man, Warrior Forum days. Absolutely, you know, I, I killed it on that Warrior Forum, right? I crushed it. You know, I remember I remember launching my first WSO, um, 2000, uh, October 2011. That was my first WSO, and, and we, we basically, um, we crushed it on there. We got, you know, tens and tens of thousands of customers off that forum. And then we moved to uh, JB Zoo, and then we got you know hundreds of thousands. We had over a hundred thousand customers off JB Zoo. Hundred thousand customers. I can't. You know, that was crazy. You know, that was like the internet marketing space. I pretty much had. Um, we still have that database. We don't really email it, but I still have all of those customers uh, from that market. I just I do nothing in that market anymore. So while says I always invest in things when I'm broke. Yeah, it's just like that's the best time to invest is when you don't have money. You you don't have money for a reason. So if you want money, you invest the money to people, but then take action on it. And especially if you give them a lot of money, like goes back to what I was saying earlier, it doesn't just work on them, it works on you, it works on me, right? Invest the money. So Carly says, I'm coming in with a brand new offer and have a few clients. Do we post in the group for feedback? Absolutely, this group can give you feedback. Like let, let the community see what you have and let, they, can, uh, they can give you feedback. We can look at it as well. So John says, Alex, what would you give? What would your advice be for new additions to the CIA family here, just starting out with us to really make the most of this program? First, first of all, don't drop your pen. <laughs> um, and Elijah's like, Elijah's like this because he because he's sick. He's like he was going to pick it up, and he knows he's sick, so he didn't want to touch it. I appreciate you being here though, uh, setting this up for me. So the very first thing is go into the members area. Start studying the material in the members area, module one of area one, and go and post your commitment to your success into the Facebook group. Engage in the Facebook group. Go and do a Facebook Live in the group. Actually, everybody who's here, maybe, right, if you want a, if you want a good exercise, today, so I, so I can get to know you, post a Facebook Live in this group. Okay, that's what I would do. Post a Facebook Live in this group. And if you, if you don't do that, go and watch module one of area one and actually show your commitment to this group and be engaged in this community. So John, to answer your question, just be engaged. So I'm saying the beginning thing is engagement and then we can move on from there. You don't wanna put it off is what I'm saying. You don't wanna be putting things off, right? Um, yeah, Mark says, if you love Joe Polish, so do I, bro. Uh, I love Joe Polish as a dear, dear friend, like a dear friend. What's up? You, you, uh, New glasses? Yeah, they block the uh, blue light. Oh, cool. Uh, cool. Yeah. yeah, and then Tracy says about like, you know, using audiobooks. So, you know, when I'm driving in the car, I listen to audiobooks. Like, I, I use that time wisely, right? So, like, if I'm going to bed, I can listen to audiobooks. It's just, it's just a great, it's just a great place. Like in that spare time, I'm able to use it. I'm able to lay down, close my eyes, fall asleep, listening to a book, and still let it absorb into my brain. Paul says, "Hi, yeah, that's where I learned uh, learned to be way back on the WSOs." Absolutely, man. Uh, rapid email profits, man. I was launching a new product every two weeks. I was the most most prolific product launcher in the game. So I would have a new sales letter out, a new product out. Every single two weeks, I was just prolific. I just had a machine running. You know what I'm saying the machine was running. And now what we did was we moved from actually needing to do that to doing paid advertising. Because then Facebook come around and we're like, we're able to just to put a credit card in and get in front of an audience. And I want to talk about that, paid advertising. A lot of people are scared of paid advertising. 
But let me ask you a question. If you could put 50 cents in and get a dollar out, how many 50 cents would you put in a day? Right? It's a great question. Now, I know that all of the questions come up there, but what happens if? What? And here's the other thing I, I can you know, share. The brain is always going to look for fear. The brain, even this morning, I started thinking about things for 10 years' time down the road. I'm like, what am I even worrying about that for? I was saying this to Carl last night. What am I worrying about something in 10 years' time when I've got all of these 10 years just to make sure that doesn't happen, and I just focus on today? And then I started, went from there, went, oh, well, next month I got this, and I had to worry about something I've got to do next month. I'm like, but that's next month. I'm like, if I focus on that problem, I'm going to stay on that problem. Why don't I focus today? And if I focus on today and do the footwork today, then surely that problem is not going to be there in a month. I've got a month to make sure that that doesn't happen. When I get there in a month, be like, ta-da. And then Dan Sullivan, who's my mentor as well from Strategic Coach, I've got a lot of mentors. Dan Sullivan is $25,000 a year. It's the fucking best investment I've ever made. And I say this because like, Joe and Dan, I, 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 $25,000 for each group, they come together. You know, you either join Strategic Coach, which I did first, for like the business, like self-management of a company, or a Genius Network to become a better entrepreneur, right? So like, I love them both, right? So like, they're both kind of my best investments, but they're both best friends. Joe and Dan are like real dear friends for like 20 years. And uh, with... With Dan Sullivan, he has such great concepts for the entrepreneur. One of them is called avoid the gap. See, we're always looking forward. We're always looking ahead. We're always looking for the goal, but the goal moves. So it's like the horizon. When you walk towards the horizon, the horizon moves away from you. So if you keep going forward and your goal keeps moving and you don't take stock of where you come from, you're going to get depressed. But if you stop once in a while and turn around and say, this is, this is how far I've come, you can be really appreciative of how far you've come. It's like right now I could be like, oh my God, I need to do this. I need to do that. I've got to do this. I got to do that. Everything. Whoa, AJ, hold up two seconds. Look what you just did last week. You just created a brand new community here. Like, look what you just achieved, AJ. Like, I've got to take stock and I say, wow, that's incredible. You know, and you should do the same thing for yourself. Take action and then take stock on that action. Use that as motivation to do more. Um, Ryan. Do you want to just come and show your face? Just say hi. Uh, so here's our traffic guy. This is the guy who drives all our traffic here. Ryan, hey what's, what's up, man? So John just said, hey, Ryan, come say hello to the family brother. Meet Mr. Traffic himself. What's up, guys? Pleasure to meet everyone. I'm excited to get to work with people in here and see everybody building out their programs and making it through. Absolutely. You know, it's uh, what, what we do is in the program, we're in elite. I was looking for the camera on this thing. Yeah, right yeah, there. Uh, yeah in, in Elite, what we do is basically we, we help, well, we talk about paid advertising actually. That's what it's like. So all of the paid advertising, this dude drives all of my traffic. So like all of the traffic that goes to my pages, this guy drives. Let me give you a high five. Boom. <laughs> I love this dude. But then also our Elite clients actually have him working with them on a week-to-week -week basis. So he helps them build out their campaigns. He reviews yeah. their campaigns. And it's just Great, right? Yeah, and I'm constantly like on the bleeding edge building new campaigns and different types of funnels. And of course, in this group here, you guys will get some of those templates that are already in there. And as we go through and test new things, they'll be dumping some in here. Yeah. And of course, yeah, our elite members, they get they get the one-on-one -on -one access. Yeah, love it, man. And and uh, and then and then also just to be aware, he's on about the cutting edge. I also pay ten thousand dollars a month just for the training for this guy, so he is on the cutting edge. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so I pay somebody to, to give us because I, I have access to people who are, you know, mega in the industry, driving tremendous amounts of value. And I want the insider scoop with them instead of us like stumbling and fumbling and trying to figure out ourselves. Yep. We're able to get like the insider information from them, bring it to my own business, you know, get it to work and then pass it on to our clients. So, yep. pretty cool, huh? Great stuff. It is great stuff. I love it. Um, anything else on the traffic side of things as I read these questions? Not right now, unless anyone yeah. has specific questions. Yeah. I got okay. traffic to drive. You go, bro. <laughs> All right. My man. Um, uh, Mark says, had my mom on the phone earlier stressed and worrying about money, and, and my partner has the, had had an emergency operation yesterday. I have a vision that I would love to give them a wedge of money at Xmas and help alleviate the pain and stress. What advice? Good question. 
So focus, focus, have that as your driving factor. So basically have your mum and your wife as the driving factor. That's a reason why. And then go and focus on serving people. So go beyond yourself. Go and create an offer that people cannot refuse. It's called an irresistible offer. Go through the training. Look at our training on irresistible offers. And go and do something that's irresistible that people have to give you money. It's like a no-brainer. Like they're giving you the credit card saying, take my freaking money. Right? It isn't that you want to get rich. It isn't that I want to make all this money. I've done that before. Let me be clear. I've made a lot of money just focus on me selfishly. I wanted mansions. I wanted fast cars. I lived in a mansion, a 10,000 square foot mansion here in one of the most fanciest neighborhoods in one of the most fanciest, I hated it. Like I was like, what the fuck is this? I hated it. Do you know what I'm saying? It was just like, it was empty. So like I had to find, I was like, wait a minute, this is the wrong way of doing it. I have to learn the hard way. But what I just said there, you had a good reason why you go and serve people, you go and do it like to go beyond yourself and Man, just just more more happier. You know what I'm saying? You could be way more happier. So we got five minutes here before we wrap this up. Um, <clears throat> Mark says, "What advice would you give to bring in cash uh, quickly and ethically? Find the market." So there's the thing: money circulates. Okay, there's an abundance of money, and it circulates every day. That just happens in the world. The best thing you do is step in front of it and fill your pockets. Now I know that can sound, you know, a bit like wishy-washy with it, but it's the truth, right? You just find out where the money's flowing and step in front of it and it comes to you. Have an irresistible offer. Focus on them more than you. You've got a reason why you're gonna go to work. Your mom and your wife, that's your reason why. Okay, now you know why you wanna make the money. You wanna serve your family. Now go serve the market. So Deborah says, uh, uh, hey Alex, I'm back. Deborah, I took your class, high ticket selling system, bombed out, I'm not computer literate. What help with computer, in will there be help with computer info? Um, <clears throat> so in my elite program, we have all the technology taken care of for our clients. Simple reason is I never wanna speak about technology with anybody. Like I, I am computer literate myself. I have no clue what to do on a freaking computer, right? Zero. If you told me to go and build a website, I'm going to say, well, what, like, huh? Like, how'd you get a domain name with a hosting? I don't know. The, the most basic thing, like getting a domain name and hosting, I have no freaking clue. Um, so we have, we have that all done for our uh, elite clients, Deborah, because I, have, I, have no, I just don't want to speak about it personally. You know, anything about marketing, anything about sales, anything about community, anything else about techno than technology. Um, so Mark says, what's the difference between HESS and CIA Gold? So HESS is a free community I have online, High Ticket Standard System, it's a free community online I have. CIA Gold is this paid community with access to our training. And Carl says, the four agreements change everything for me. Yeah, I need to read that book, you know, it's definitely a book that I need to read. Um, Oh, I'm perfect. Yeah, and then uh, uh, Mark, John just said this. Go and check out the hustle plan for quick ways to make money. Like, you know, clients, like even last night, who was it last night in the, in the, in the uh, elite, CIA elite group, John, who just got 11 uh, tickets sold from the hustle plan. They just sold 11 places to their program uh, last night. Uh, what up, Jane Starkey? Here's another, oh man, I love this girl. Like, so Jen just joined. Throw some love up in here, Jen. Say hi to everyone. Um, Jen is just somebody who's transforming. Take care, my brother. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, bro. Jen is somebody who is just, her life is transforming in front of our eyes. You know, she, joined, she is a integral part of my community in the elite program. Like, literally, she is there to not just be a part of the community, but to serve the community. And she's developing as a human being so much this year, it's phenomenal to see. I'm, I'm like, I am blessed to witness somebody, like their whole life transform in front of my eyes. Not just, not just money, but the whole life transform in front of my eyes. So Jen, I, I love you, I swear. Like I'm just so proud of you, so, so, so proud of you. Um, yeah, <laughs> I love that, Kurt. Um,
So, um, yeah, Carl said it was Lordana. Yeah, Lordana uh, yesterday. Uh, Chelsea says the event uh, the Eventbrite strategy is gold. So absolutely, the Eventbrite strategy that's a way you can get like you can get clients uh, without any paid advertising. So that's uh, uh, Deborah says who who's your computer coaches? Um, so basically, uh, Carl or John can have a chat with you with regards to that to see if there's a good fit for you, Deborah. Um, Uh, Jen says, AJ, I love you. I just launched my sales letter for the new community. I love CIA. I just, I'm so proud of you. Um, yeah, people have had a, insane results from the Eventbrite strategy. You know, Jen says, CIA has changed my life. You know, it's, uh, oh, Tracy, look at this. Tracy says, it is. I've just got 56 registrations. I love it. You know, it's just great, man. Seriously great. So, uh, you know, Tracy's in the elite, Jen's in the elite, uh, Kurt's in the elite. You know, these people are, uh, who's a, uh, uh, yeah, those people there at the, at the bottom here. So they've, you know, they've got their funnels built and their marketing built and they're now driving the traffic. And uh, so basically, John, Carl, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump off here now. I've got a, a call now in 15 minutes uh, with uh, some people. So I'm going to get myself a little bit of uh, breakfast before that call. Fuel up these little muscles of mine. Actually, not too bad, but this jumper makes me look small, small. So listen, absolute pleasure uh, sharing with you. I hope uh, to see your lives in this group today. Uh, with that said, I will uh, wrap it up here. We're on the hour. And if you would like to you know, speak with us, just, just share love in the, in the community. Just get engaged in the community. Ask questions in the community. Like, be a part of this, do you know what I'm saying? Like, be amongst it with us. And obviously, for the ones of you who want to go to Elite, then, you know, you, there's there's so much more than this but for now like check out the training like really get engaged be a part of it. i want to build a great community here right but that says alex Sheffy sign out i will see you this time next week live uh before then i'll look at doing some lives behind the scenes maybe of like the studio and like you know what we're doing here and then uh follow me on instagram alex james jeffries a l e x j a m e s j e f f r e y s I do uh, some lives there from time to time as well where you can actually see uh, behind the scenes of my life and what I'm doing here in San Diego. All right, Alex, if you sign up, peace, love, chat, and out, over and out. See ya.